I love fall. It's my favorite season and I especially love fall lipstick. I have a deep, deep, deep love for the sorts of shades that I tend to pull out more often in the fall and I want to share my tippy top favorites with you all today. I have three lip liners, three sheer lip options, two full pigment nude-ish lip colors, and then four that are more so on the colorful end of things. I will say that I tend to gravitate towards like warm toasty nudes in the fall. So although I'm including some of those colors, don't be shocked <laughs> when the first like half of these options are all things that are kind of in like the warm brownish nude family. I will swatch each of these for you so that you can see what the shades look like. And now let's go ahead and start out with lip liners. I have three lip liners to recommend. However, two of them are almost identical. <laughs> they're from the same brand, the same line, and they're almost the same color, but I thought I'd give you the option of both. So those first two that are very similar are the Essence Stay 8 Hour Lip Liner and I have the shades Tea Time and Because Duh. Now you can see even their outside packaging, they look almost identical. And when you see the swatches, you'll see they really are almost the same color. There's a slight difference though. My third lip liner that I love for fall is my NYX Slim Lip Pencil in the shade Nude Beige. Now this is a more cool toned brown and the reason I love this is because it does help me use more of the warm fall colors but blend them into my cooler toned skin a little easier. So with this buffer on the outer edge of like a cool toned brown, even some of the warmest nudes look more at home on my skin because there's kind of a fade from the very warm inner portion of my lip to the slightly cooler lip liner to my cool toned skin. So here are the swatches of those three. First we have Essence Tea Time, then we have Essence Because Duh, and then we have NYX Slim Lip Pencil in Nude Beige. And I just realized I made a critical mistake. <laughs> Those Essence lip liners, when they say stay eight hour waterproof, they mean like very, very, very much stay eight hours. I just washed my hands like four times and you can see the next one came off a little bit. These two are firmly on my hand. So we're gonna have to swatch down here the rest of the day. <laughs> Moving on, I have three very nude toned, brown toned, sheer options that are my go-to's for fall. These are definitely the things I gravitate towards on like an everyday basis, casual makeup wear. First up is what I have on my lips right now. This is the Tower 28 Milky Lip Jelly in the shade Cashew. It's just like a perfect warm toasty brown that's sheer and glossy. Love this. Next up is the Merit Beauty Shade Slick Tinted Lip Oil in the shade Taupe. Now this is a more neutral leaning cool sort of color in comparison to that Tower 28. So similar finish, similar look on the lips, but less warm, less toasty. And then up next is the ColourPop Just a Tint in the shade Gimme Some More. Now this one is still definitely a nude, but it's much less shiny than the other two because those other two are kind of like gloss textures. This one is just a really nice hydrating balm, so it's a little less shiny, and it also has quite a bit of pink in the undertone, so it's definitely what I reach for when I'm wanting something nice and sheer and nude, but not too brown. So here are the swatches, ignoring those lip liner swatches. Right here is Tower 28 in Cashew. Next up is Merit Beauty Taupe. And last is ColourPop Gimme Some More. So you can see it just has more pink and it's not as shiny, but it's still nice and sheer. And you can see the difference between Tower 28, which is really like toasty cashew color, <laughs> and uh, the Merit, which is more cool neutral brown. And now before I actually wash those three off, I do want to show you those in comparison to my two favorite nude actual lipsticks. So these are like full pigment, full saturation lipsticks. The first one is from Propa Beauty. It's the shade Finesse. So let me twist this up here. It's a really, really gorgeous, like warm, peachy, yellowy, orangey nude. I know that was a lot of colors, but it really is kind of a chameleon in that whatever warm toned color you're wearing on the rest of your face, it really, really 
picks up and ties into those shades. So because it has some orange, some peach, some yellow, and some brown in here, it's really, really, really a good go-to for me for any type of look. It has a really beautiful luminous satin finish, so not super shiny, but also definitely not matte. And another favorite for me in the kind of lighter, toasty nudes realm is the e.l.f. Seriously Satin Lipstick in the shade Cider. Now it looks pretty dark here, but you really can blot it and sheer it out on your lips to a really nice neutral nude shade that isn't too deep if you have around my skin tone. Now even though these are called Seriously Satin, I really do think of this as basically like a comfort matte formula. It's very very matte, especially in comparison to the Propa Beauty one I just showed you, and it has much more orange in it. So at a time when I'm wearing like copper eyeshadow and I really want to bring out those orangey tones to contrast with my blue eyes in particular, this is one I reach for. I love, love, love this lipstick. So here in the swatches, we have the Prapa Beauty Lipstick in Finesse and the e.l.f. Seriously Satin Lipstick in the shade Cider. So you can see Cider is a little deeper, but it truly does go on to my lips more or less like a orangey brown nude. So now that you've seen kind of all of the nudes that I'm gonna show you, the brownie nudes, I'm gonna wash my hand off so that we can talk through the four bold colors that I have. Okay, so looking at these four shades swatched out, Bold may have been a bit of a misnomer. I guess this category is actually the four shades that I wear that are like not toasty brown warm nudes <laughs> in the fall. So uh, they are not all necessarily what you would consider bold. However, they all do show up fairly bold on my skin tone. So something to keep in mind. The first thing is the Ofra Flexi Slick in the shade Slip. This is my favorite of all of my kind of mauve pinks in my collection. This is my favorite for fall because it's just a bit deeper than my other kind of mauve pinks. Next up, I have the Kosas Weightless Lipstick in the shade Royal. This, this beautiful berry shade is one of my favorite lipsticks ever. And it's like a perfect light berry shade. This actually, one of my favorite favorite fall looks is to put this on my lips and use it as my blush. When I'm wanting to do like the most <laughs> with my fall makeup, that's the look I go for because it looks so fresh, so, so beautiful, but still very decidedly fall. I love it. I absolutely love it. Number three is the shade Her Magic from Prapa Beauty. This is a gorgeous plummy brown. And on my skin tone, it's relatively dark. It's a pretty deep shade. So that's why it's in with these kind of bolder shades for me. However, if you have a darker skin tone than me, this might be like a perfect warm nude for you <laughs> for the fall. And then last up here, I wanted to include my favorite fall red. And that is the Kosas Weightless Lipstick in the shade Fringe. Now this I love so much because it's a little bit deeper and darker in the red family. It's definitely like leaning towards a bricky tone, but oftentimes those sort of brick reds show up too orange and too kind of like garish on my skin tone because I do have those slightly cooler undertones. This one doesn't do that. This one has just enough blue in the brick red that it still looks right at home on my skin. So I adore this red in particular for my skin tone. So here are our swatches. This is Ofra Flexi Slick in the shade Slip, Kosas Weightless Lipstick in Royal, Propa Beauty Lipstick in Her Magic, and Kosas Weightless Lipstick in Fringe. So hopefully you can see what I'm talking about with each of these here. A really, really gorgeous mauve from Ofra that's just a little darker than kind of the rest of the mauves that I own. Royal, man, that shade, that shade is such a good color. If you have around my skin tone and you own kind of a, a pinky berry like this, pull it out, use it on your cheeks and lips this fall and just tell me you don't feel incredible. Her Magic, that really, really gorgeous brown that doesn't lean too warm for my skin tone. It does have that little bit of plum in the undertone that makes it flattering on me. 
And then same with the Kosas fringe. It just has that little, little bit of red or blue still in this red, where even though it's getting bricky and dark and brownish red, it still has some blue. I truly, this, this makes me excited seeing these four next to each other. These are definitely my top, top picks, top picks for fall for a bold lip. So excited. Let me know in the comments. I would love to hear your favorite fall lip color. I hope you enjoyed this video today. And if you're not subscribed to my channel yet, I would love to have you subscribe. I do have this fall makeup look coming soon on my channel. If it's already up, I'll link it up here, but I don't think it's up yet. I think the lip video is coming first because I'm so excited about this one. So if it's not linked there, then go ahead and subscribe because then you'll get notified when I do upload this really nice everyday fall makeup look. Either way, thank you so, so much for watching today and I will see you next time.